Patrick. Welcome to FCPS News. It's Monday, September 24th, and we're coming to you from our studio in Greenville Elementary. We're following breaking news. Many adults have been seen around school with purple lanyards. According to our sources, these lanyards mean they've been specially trained to provide help to students who are going through a rough time. Yes, Adeline, this just into the news desk. These lanyards are confirmed to be more than just a new fashion trend. We have a reporter on the scene. Kendall, what are you learning? Yes, Patrick, I'm here outside of one of the schools where purple lanyards have been spotted. I caught up with a staff member wearing one of those purple lanyards, and I got the backstory. These teachers and staff members have been through special training to help kids who are going through a rough time. Life can be tough, and when things feel unmanageable, it can really help to talk to someone. What about the school counselors? I always thought they were the staff members to go to in times of trouble. In fact, they are, Adeline. Counselors are trained professionals in the building and are available to any student who needs their help. While the school counselor is always there for help, the staff members with purple lanyards can, are also trained to listen and provide students with the help they need. Back to you, Adeline. So, Kendall, is this hap just happening at our school? No. In fact, over 400 p teachers with purple lanyards can be found at schools across the county. Wow, that's a lot. Seems like we're well covered then. Thanks for the intel, Kendall. Students, we all have rough days when we feel down, angry, or stressed. But when these days turn into periods of time or turn into intense feelings of helplessness, anger, or stress, it is important to get help. Whether you just need someone to talk to, or if you need resources or advice, these teachers and staff members are here to help. So keep your eye out for the purple lanyard. And don't be afraid to reach out. You don't have to be alone. This has been FCPS News. My name is Patrick. Thank you for watching.